guys, so we're going to be doing a quick two-part video series basically explaining the difference between codominant genes and recessive genes and why we call them that and how we make the different combos that you see in so many of our videos. So today we're going to be focusing on what we in the reptile hobby called codominant genes. Now what that means is you only need it to be heterozygous or carry one gene for it to be expressed. An example of this is tiger or motley, something like that. If you breed a motley to a normal, Half of the offspring are going to be motleys, half of them are going to be normals. But motley also has a homozygous form called super motley that you can add it to. Both forms are expressed and are visual. If you breed the super motley to a normal, you hit all motleys. So that's basically how the genetics work. Now let's break down into the actual patterns and colors you'll see on these animals. Now here is what we call a normal or a wild type, also sometimes called a classic reticulated python. So this is actually why they call them reticulated pythons is because they have that web or net-like pattern going down them. By themselves, they're beautiful without any mutations on them. Their colors from range from being yellow where this one's orange to being more of a black depending on the locality they're from where their parents were from. So that's why they call them retics right there. Now the next off is actually the first morph that was ever reproduced in retics back in the early 90s. This is a tiger reticulated python. It is a pattern mutation as well. And if you ever see snakes with these stripes going down them, 90% of the time, that's a tiger. It's been bred into pretty much every single gene at this point. It's not going to add a whole lot of color because it's mainly a pattern mutation. This one's a little bit of a bright example. They can range to most of them being a little bit duller than this one, but they're always going to have those stripes going down in what we call rosettes. Now the next one up is we have a color mutation, which is a platinum. Now, platinum is an interesting gene because it's two different phenotypes, actually three different phenotypes that can come out of the platinum gene. So platinums are either born het for ultra or het for leucistic. Now, if you guys have heard, seen the big lucies and the big ultras, that's the difference. Is these either carry the gene for ultra or they carry the gene for being lucy. So the heterozygous form we just call platinum. It basically brightens up any mutation that you pair it with, which is why we call it an enhancer gene. just talking about. Now Motley is a beautiful pattern mutation there. Get this guy out. And the colorations on them vary between being almost a very bright orange to a greenish gray almost black sometimes. You can almost even see some blue. It's a really cool mutation that has made some of the coolest combos we've made. If you've seen those all white ones, that comes from the Motley. It's a super Motley albino. But that's basically what it's going to do. And it's a very dominant gene, which means that as you breed it, it tends to overpower other genetics, just kind of like some of the other ones we'll be showing you throughout the day here. The next one up is Golden Child, which is a favorite of many of our fans. Golden Child is another codominant, like all these will be. It is a pattern mutation, and it is known when, if you, any of you have bred them out there, that it overpowers almost anything you pair it with can make all black snakes, it can make beautiful purple and orange snakes. It's one of the coolest genes we have. And by itself, as you can see, gorgeous animal. Here we have a sunfire, which is a pattern and a color mutation. Now how you can always tell a sunfire is the tails right here. A lot of the times they have floating tails, which basically mean the pattern is not connecting to the bottom of the animal where the white starts. It's always gonna have really bright orange tails no matter what genes are added to the animal. So basically what Sunfire does is it adds color contrast to many of the mutations that you're gonna be making. Albino Sunfires are some of the best albinos we've ever made and pretty much you're going to enhance any genetic combination that Sunfire has added, which is why we call it an enhancer gene. So basically guys, when you start mixing all these genes, start adding recessive genetics, codom genetics, and you do that over and over again for years, this is some of the combos that you can create. So this is a purple clown, which we're gonna teach you guys how to make once you get into the recessive combos. So this is a super tiger anthrax purple albino. Thanks for following us guys. Stay tuned for part two of the video where we're gonna be going over recessive mutations. Hit that follow button, hit your notification. Hey.